rewrite the expression as a single logarithm. And we are given the expression 4 times log base m of w minus 1 fourth times log base m of z plus 2 log base m of y. So in this example, we are using the algebraic properties of logarithms to take this big old expression and rewrite it into one cute compact single logarithm. So looking at our given logarithmic expression here, notice how each one of the three logarithms has a constant out in front. We have the constant 4 in front of the first logarithm, we have the constant 1 fourth in front of the second logarithm, and the constant 2 in front of the third logarithm. So we need to apply the power property. So we can rewrite this expression as log base m of w raised to the fourth power minus log base m of z raised to the one-fourth power plus log base m of y to the second power. Beautiful! Now, the next order of business, reading our logarithms from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, we're noticing that we have the difference of the first two logarithms. So the difference of these two logarithms implies that we need to apply the quotient property. So we can rewrite this expression as log base m of w to the fourth divided by z to the one-fourth. And this is all still plus log base m of y squared. Beautiful! Now, last but not least, again, reading this logarithmic expression from the left-hand side to the right-hand side, we notice that we have this sum of these two logarithms. So the sum of the two logarithms implies that we need to apply the product property. And let's give ourselves a little bit more room here. And so applying the product property, we are left here with the logarithm base m of w to the fourth divided by z to the one fourth multiplied by y squared. And there's nothing wrong with this answer. We could also rewrite this as the single or the simplified single logarithm. So we have log base m of w to the fourth multiplied by y squared all over z to the one-fourth power. And there you have it. This is our beautiful final answer.